In this video, I'll be answering the question, how is SARS-CoV-2 related to other human and veterinary coronaviruses? So for the coronavirus family, classification is done by comparing the sequences of the viral replicator proteins. We can view this classification on the ICTV website, which stands for the International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses. In the family Coronaviridae, there are two subfamilies, the Litovirinae, which is a small subfamily of only one virus isolated from a frog. The author of Coronaviridae is a much larger subfamily and is divided into four genera, the alpha, the beta, the gamma, and the delta coronaviruses. Gamma and delta coronaviruses are viruses that affect mainly birds, but also a beluga whale. The two genera of human and veterinary importance are the alpha and beta coronaviruses. In the alpha and beta coronavirus genera, by far the greatest diversity of these viruses are found in bats, but I'm not going to focus on these virus species, these bat species and I've only expanded the subgenera of viruses that infect either humans or animals. So let's see where COVID-19 sits, which is over here. So COVID-19 is the disease name and SARS-CoV-2 is the virus name. It belongs to the species severe acute respiratory syndrome related coronavirus, as does the SARS virus which caused the outbreak um, the worldwide outbreak between 2002 and 2004. So there might be a bit of confusion between the name of a virus and the virus species. So just like, vi just like humans belong to a species, that is Homo sapien, they can have different surnames. So similarly, viruses also belong to a species and can have different names. So MERS, which is the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome related coronavirus, belongs to a, sub, a different subgenus alongside some bat and hedgehog viruses. So the closest virus to SARS of veterinary importance is the beta coronavirus 1. So this virus was named in 2009 and comprises a number of historical virus species affecting bovines, humans, pigs, horses and dogs. The old names of these viruses included bovine coronavirus, human coronavirus OC43, human enteric coronavirus, porcine hemagglutinating encephalomyelitis virus, and equine coronavirus. The main clinical sign seen with this virus is diarrhea. So it's evident that cross-species transmission can occur with coronaviruses. The bovine coronavirus is perhaps a good example of a virus that jumped from animals to human and also from animal to animal, so specifically from bovine to canine. So if we look now look at the alpha coronaviruses um, and the viruses of human and veterinary importance, we have human coronavirus 229E Porcine epidemic diarrhea virus, human coronavirus NL63, and alpha coronavirus 1. So the species alpha coronavirus 1 was also established in 2009 to accommodate previously established coronaviruses of swine, cats, and dogs. So namely transmissible gastroenteritis virus, feline coronavirus as a cause of feline infectious peritonitis, and canine coronavirus. Okay, so just to end off, just a bit on the general characteristics of coronaviruses. They target primarily epithelial cells and are therefore associated with gastrointestinal and respiratory infections that may be acute or become chronic with prolonged shedding of virus. These coronaviruses are potentially pathogenic uh, through cross-species transmission. Some of the alpha coronaviruses may cause fatal immune-mediated systemic infections, 
by switching the infection of epithelial cells to those of the macrophage and monocyte lineage.